This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a capacitive proximity sensor is a type of sensor used to detect the presence of an object without physical contact. It works based on the principle of capacitance, which is the ability of an object to store an electrical charge. There are several types of such sensors on the market, on the market and each of them is intended for a specific purpose. This time I will present you an extremely simple way to make such a sensor yourself, which is inexpensive and highly adjustable. We only need a few components to make the sensor. Two thin metal plates, in my case aluminum plates. Next potentiometer for settings the sensitivity. Uh, LED and buzzer for signalization or we can use a relay module to, tu to turn on and off some device and Arduino Nano microcontroller with board with appropriate software. The two plates are glued to an isolating substrate next to each other in the form of a so-called open capacitor with a certain minimum distance between them. In fact, this is a cap capacitor with a capacity of 3 to 5 picofarads in air. If we approach the plates with an object that has a dielectric constant different from that of the air, the capacitance will change, which is detected by the microcontroller and, it is, and its output gives a suitable signal or activates some device. Now let's not go into, into the explanation of the term dielectric constant, just to give you an example of its value for some materials. For water, dielectric constant is 80. For glass, from 4 to 12. For PVC, 4. For wood, it is about 3. Then human body, about 40 and dry air has exactly one dielectric constant. It can be seen from the above that the sensor will be more sensitive to water than human body, etc. The microcontroller code is relatively simple thanks to the wonderful capacitor library that accurately measures the capacitance of an unknown capacitor without the use of external components. Now I will show you what it's it looks like just using this library and a serial plotter from the Arduino ID. This relatively constant line uh, represents the capacitance of the open capacitor plus that of the coaxial cable that runs from the place to the microcontroller. In this case, this capacity is about 36 picofarads. As the hand gets closer to the place, the capacitance decreases, which, which is clearly seen on the serial plotter. The same applies to water. For this purpose I wrote an extremely simple code. As we can notice, we first measure the capacitance of the open capacitor plus coaxial cable system and the value generated by the position of the potentiometer uh, which we have to adjust to be the closest to the above mentioned capacitance. If we bring an object with a higher dielectric constant close to the plates, the capacitance decreases 
and when it become lower than the previously set uh, constant value of the potentiometer, an alarm is triggered or some device is turned on via a relay module. Now I will demonstrate the features of the complete sensor device. After turning on the device, with the help of the potentiometer we need to set the sensor activation threshold in a way that we, that we set it in the position closest to the self-activation of the alarm. Now the sensor is most sensitive. Next I will test the functionality by bringing my hand closer to the metal plates. The reaction of the sensor is momentary when we bring the hand closer to the certain device. If we approach for example wood or plastic then se the, sensor, uh, the sensor does not react at all. This property can be used very effectively to protect against injuries, for example where wo when working with wood with a circular saw. Let's assume that uh, this is the saw, real saw. While processing the wood, the saw is in operation. If due to the carelessness or some other reason we bring our hand close to the saw, the sensor activates special mechanism that instantly stops the rotation of the saw and thus protects us from injury. And I am, if I am outside of the saw, the sensor is inactive. As I mentioned before, this sensor is sensitive to water, so it can be used very effectively to prevent unwanted water from leaking out of the container during a certain process. Another application is for example the signaling of a damaged plumbing installation or faucet that causes water to leak onto the floor. Now sensor is active. Now a special case where the floor is metal which make it very difficult to detect water. With the potentiometer we adjust the threshold at very place that the sensor will stand. And now the sensor will not react to the metal at all but only to the presence of water.
Now I will explain to you a practical example of an application in industry, let's say detecting irregularities in a bottle filling line. This is the filled bottle with liquid and this is empty bottle. Uh, if for some previous reason the, bit, the bottle moving along the line is not filled, this can be easily detected with this sensor because, because it does not react to the glass but only to the liquid inside of the bottle. If the sensor does not give a signal, it means that the bottle is empty and needs to be removed at a later stage. So this is the empty bottle. And finally a short conclusion, this is an extremely useful and adaptable sensor and the 8 examples above can be used in countless other places. Also this sensor offers several advantages including high reliability, long lifespan and resistance to environmental factors like dirt, moisture and vibrations. It is desirable for a practical performance instead of a thin plastic film as in my case the place should be sealed in epoxy design uh, where, whereby practically the sensor will be perfectly protected from, an, from any mechanical and atmospheric influences. <laughs>